Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I have prepared a little video for you. This is uh, week eight, topic four resource video for the fundamentals of color. Uh, in topic four, we are learning about different color harmonies, different color schemes, the meaning of color. This video here is to demonstrate how to use or how to create uh, different color schemes based off of color harmony. In your uh, Halo assignment for the Mandala project, there is a link to Adobe. Uh, it's called color.adobe.com. It's a website that Adobe created that will help you guys create your different color schemes based off of different color harmonies. So if you launch this website here, under this tab here, create, you will see this page will populate here. And over here on the left, you will see the different color harmonies. So for this assignment, you're gonna be creating three different color schemes. One being the monochromatic color scheme, another being the complementary color scheme, and another one being the analogous color scheme. So you can start with any three of those that you would like. I'm going to start for this demonstration purposes, the monochromatic color scheme. So I simply just need to click on monochromatic, and this is the color harmony that I'm gonna be working with. Now you can choose any color you like. It can be your favorite color, it can be your favorite team's color, uh, it can have a, a color based off a of color meaning. For example, if you want to do a color that is uh, in the cool color palette that represents uh, calm, uh, friendly, trustworthy, blue would be the, col the color you might select. So all you need to do though is move these little color markers around the color wheel until you find the monochromatic color scheme that you like. I kind of like these different hues of blue in here. So I'm going to select this group of uh, blue hues for my monochromatic color scheme. Once you're happy with the color scheme you created, you can see these here, you can save this to your folder. Now I've already created a folder that's called DDM, DDN 101 color schemes. So I'm gonna save that to my folder. I'm gonna name it the monochromatic folder and I'm just gonna hit save. So that will put that into a library of all my different color schemes that I'm going to create here from Adobe's website. Now at this point, you can either go on and create your analogous color scheme if you like, or your complementary color scheme. I'm uh, just going to stick with monochromatic for now, uh, for demonstration purposes to show you how this works. So up here under libraries, if you click that, this will have your different libraries that you've created. Here you can see the folder I created, DDN 101 color schemes. Inside that are the different monochromatic uh, color schemes that I've created. I've created two. Uh, I like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit more vibrant. It's a little bit more uh, saturated. Um, the intensity is a little bit brighter, so I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna click on this color scheme. It's gonna launch the color scheme that I created. Over here on the right, I'm gonna download this library. Now I'm gonna download this as an ASE file. So I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna put it in a folder where I can easily find that. Now I created a folder on my desktop for now just called Mandala Color Themes. I'm gonna change this and call it Blue Monochromatic Color. Right? And then I'm gonna save it into my folder so I can find that quick and easy. Now, for the Mandala project, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm gonna launch uh, Illustrator, open that up. Uh, I already have the Mandalas that I chose. These Mandalas can be found on Basecamp in your sections folder uh, under the Mandala project in a folder called Mandalas of Color. Um, they're all vector files, so you can select any one of those Mandalas you like. But um, for purposes that, for this assignment, they have to be the same Mandala for all three color schemes. So I've opened these up. I have a monochromatic. I've labeled these just so I know which ones I'm working on, complementary and analogous. Uh, you'll definitely need your swatch window open for this. So under window up here, I'm gonna drag down to my swatches. I'm gonna launch my swatches menu. Once the swatch menu is loaded, I wanna add that library that I just created from Adobe's website. So this little arrow here, excuse me, the hamburger menu here, I wanna click on this. I wanna um, open a swatch library. It's none of these ones here. It's gonna be a new library that I haven't loaded. 
So I'm going to go down to other libraries. This is going to launch a, a window. I need to find that folder that I saved. Here it is right here, the Mandala Color Themes. So I'm going to open that up. You'll see inside here the different themes, or excuse me, the different libraries that I saved. Blue monochromatic is the one that I want to use. So I'm going to click that one and I'm going to open that library. It's going to show this little window right here. Um, this was already populated, but if it's not populated in your swatches, you can literally click here and drag this in. I'm just going to delete this one. Yes, I want to delete that one. So now I have the monochromatic color scheme that I created using the uh, color.adobe.com website. I can close this at this point right now. So here's the colors I'm going to be working with. So part of this assignment was to uh, add various different tints and shades that we talked about. So underneath window, I can click and come down here to my color guide. This will launch this window and it already populates all the different shades and tints based off of my monochromatic color scheme that I, that I created. So once you have this um, selected and you have your color guide window open, you can see all the different shades. Um, shades are created again by adding black to the color and tints are created by adding white to the color. From here, I can select any of these different colors to work with based off of my monochromatic color scheme. So I'm just going to give a really quick tutorial, but this is really just to show you guys how to create those different libraries. Make sure your mandala is selected. Okay. Um, when it's selected, it'll be highlighted. It's difficult to see what boxes you're going to be coloring when they're all highlighted. So if you do a command H, it'll hide the selection, but know that this is a live selection. All these are live over here in your uh, tool palette. I'm going to use the live paint bucket or command K. I'm going to select the colors that I want to work with. Again, this is my monochromatic color scheme. I'm going to start with this darker shade of blue. It's going to then give me all the different tints and shades. I can select the color that I want to work with and you can see it hovers over the different sections and I literally just need to click the particular element that I want to fill with that color and it will populate that color in that little section. Now it will hover over and it will change colors once that um, particular section is selected. Now again, for example, uh, uh, mark on this to get the highest grade, you want to have a lot of different shades and uh, tints. So come over here and start selecting different ones. Uh, show the different gradients, show uh, the different percentages that you want. Um, make it creative. Don't just color everyone the same. Have some variance. Oh, you gotta make sure that color is selected though. There it is. And then over here on your menu, we'll show you what that color is that you're using. So I can alternate different hues or different shades of blues, different tints of blues that I want. It's as simple as that. And you want to make this attractive. You want this to have uh, good meaning. You want to apply the design principles. You want to have um, repetition with variance. You want to have it balanced. You want to make sure this is colored in completely. Um, once this is all filled in, you're going to save this out then as a PDF up here under uh, file, drop down to save as, and then you can create a new folder and you want to save this. Make sure you name it last name first, first name and the name of your color scheme. And save that as a PDF. I'm just going to put it in this folder for the time being. Um, I always like to have view PDF selected after I save a PDF that way it launches in Acrobat and I can see exactly what my PDF is going to look like and what I am turning in. So that'll appear here 
And again, yours will be completely full filled in uh, with that particular scheme. And for this one, it's the monochromatic color scheme. Uh, ping me on Basecamp with any questions or send me a, a chat. I look forward to seeing your guys' work.